You know, they say that imitation is a form of flattery, and so that's why I was very flattered when uh, one of a good friend of mine decided to imitate my opening from week 13. I'm in my car! Well, thanks, Kristen, but this week, I'm not in my car! Well, yes, week 14 is here, and I'm very happy for that, as I'm happy with every week that passes by. It's always a, a week in the right direction. Anyways, uh, this week was a very interesting week, and it, it really goes to show how small our world really is. For instance, one of my videos was viewed by somebody in Alberta, the lovely Twitter handle, at Urban Polling Alberta. Uh, and basically they saw my video and uh, it was pretty cool. This happened uh, back on my birthday, so on April 2nd. And they told me that they would like to get me in touch with somebody uh, local to me that could come and teach me about urban polling. In full disclosure, I wasn't quite sure what urban polling was. In fact, someone may have tried to tell me that it was pole dancing. Turns out that is not the case, <laughs> and I'm very thankful for that. I was put in touch with a very wonderful lady named Laura, who just happens to be an urban polling instructor here where I live. Laura ended up showing me just what is all involved with urban polling. Well, so this week I'm learning exactly what urban polling is. It's not what I originally thought it was, and to explain it a little better, I have Laura Clemens from Ur Urban Polling, and she's gonna tell us uh, what urban polling is and what it entails. All right, that's great. I'm so excited to meet you, Yes, Dylan. thank you. This is awesome. Here we are, the Oshawa waterfront. Beautiful. Yep, and you had asked me earlier if urban polling was the same as Nordic walking. So Nordic walking is like the generic term for walking with poles and urban polling is when you use these specific poles that are strapless and use the correct method which I'm going to show you. Okay. So we'll do the ABCs of why would you bother using sticks? Why wouldn't you just go for a walk? Absolutely. There you go. So A, it's all body motion. So you're using every single muscle except for your face muscles unless you're talking in which case we are. So we're using all <laughs> our muscles. So it's like cross-country skiing. So because you're using all your muscles, B, you burn way more calories. Okay. So it's fantastic for weight loss. You can burn up to 46% more calories in the same distance and the same time as walking without pole. Wow. Yeah, so wow. that's awesome. So we're at C, and C is for core development. Because every time you plant the pole with these urban poles, you're doing a mini stomach crunch. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. So tons of benefits, right? There's like... tons. So when you walk for a mile, they say you're doing about 1,800 arm swings, which is 900 with each arm. In other words, you're getting 1,800 mini stomach crunches every time you plant your pole. Wow. So it's awesome. <laughs> but not only are you developing your core, but you're also developing your upper body muscles and uh, you're using your arms, your chest, and your shoulders because you're using the pole. So normally when you're walking, you're just basically using your lower body. Yeah. Um, D, it develops great posture and balance. Now, when you hold the poles, you can't lean over and slouch and sort of have bad walking habits. The poles keep you upright, so that's fantastic. And E, you're all alleviating all the stress from your knees, ankles, and hips because you're transferring up to 30% of your body wow. weight onto the poles. That's amazing. Yeah, so that's, that's why you're amazing. developing those muscles at the same time as you're offsetting the weight from your knees. And do you have bad knees? No, actually, surprisingly, I'm lucky enough that I haven't had any issues. Knock on wood. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, but then going down the road, if anything were to happen to your knees, these are fantastic because they offload the weight. They also help propel you up and down hills. So maybe we'll try that a little later. But we're, first, we're going to get the basic movement down path. All right. All right. So the sun's finally out. I'm so excited. It's We're great. It's great. This is awesome. So we set the poles up to your height. Yes. Six and four. And mine are at my height. And we're going to start with the method. So basically, we're just going to have them hanging by your side, Dylan, as we walk ahead and walk as you normally would. Just forget to even have the poles and sort of drag them by your side. It's all right so to drag it. them. It's all right to <laughs> okay. drag them. In fact, it's preferred when you're first learning. So that's perfect. So see, you're going with a nice, easy rhythm, and you're going automatically, opposite hand, opposite foot. So that's how you would walk without the pole. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So you got a nice, easy grip, 
And here's the thing that's a little different from urban pulling. You keep your arms straight. Oh, okay. So when you keep your arms straight, the movement comes from your shoulder as opposed from coming from the elbow. So the shoulder is a much bigger muscle girdle, much stronger, and you burn more calories by using that. Oh, okay. It's great for posture. Yeah, well, I just say, I already feel like I'm standing well, a little bit taller than normal. <laughs> and you're already really tall. Yeah. So now you've already started to do it, Dylan, is that you're making a bit of a wider arm sweep as you go oh, along. Oh, yeah. See I didn't you, even notice that. Yeah, you're just a natural. <laughs> there you go. We did not prep before this. Okay? No. So you can go a little higher now. So it's almost like you're putting your hand out for a handshake with somebody. Okay. And press down a little bit on the base of the handle with the side of your hand side as you're going okay. along. Maintaining that straight arm position. Wow, you seriously are a natural and I'm not just saying that. It takes some people quite a long time to learn this. But do you feel when you're pressing down on the base of the handle with the side of your hand that you're doing a bit of a mini stomach crunch? Yeah, like, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, so really try to press down hard and push your belly button to your spine as you're going along. Maintaining that straight arm motion. Beautiful. That's yeah. great. Yeah. How does it feel? It feels, it feels good. Like, yeah. It feels better than just normally walking. Like, yes, I find great. It, it helps propel you forward yeah. a little faster. It's like faster. you have a little more prep in your step. It's true. It's, we call it boosting your walk. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Okay, there's a lot of bugs on this trail, Dylan. We just ate a lot of protein. I, I always know. say to do it within 20 minutes of your workout anyways, right? <laughs> then, the most funny thing happened. So before we actually started out walking, just as we were meeting up at our spot, it actually started to pour rain on us. So we ended up running in for cover. Once we were in, it did slow down and eventually stopped. So that's when we got out to go and, and do our walk. But that did create some muddy conditions, which is really funny because we were trying to utilize the urban poles the best we could. However, I pulled a goof and it's really funny unfortunately uh, my feet were no match for the mud and so not only did I fall one but I kind of slipped twice uh, here's that Oof, here we go and that's really oh. muddy <laughs> okay do not oh no it's not the poles it's the mud <laughs> here we go Whoa. oopsie <laughs> oh you lost him I'm sorry, can I help you? No, but Oh, I feel badly. <laughs> <laughs> this is going in the blooper reel. <laughs> so now we know what happens when you walk on mud. <laughs> now the poles did help, but unfortunately they were no match again for the mud. And actually Laura's gonna uh, teach me a lot more as well. So she'll be up in some future vlogs as well, which is exciting. I get to learn more, which is going towards my weight loss goal of uh, getting more fitness and being more active and all for the lifestyle. So I'll welcome it with open arms as well as any, any type of activity. I'm, I'm game for it. I'm ready. This is, this is what this is about. <laughs> now I have to, like, of course, give a huge shout out to Laura for all the time that she put in trying to teach me about urban polling and how to do it properly. So thank you, Laura. I have to also give a huge shout out to our cameraman, Eric, for the day. Yeah, he helped uh, film all of that and then some. So Eric, thank you so much. His YouTube channels are actually linked below if you wanna go check them out. So I'm looking forward to more urban polling in the future. I'm so happy that uh, I'm keeping moving forward and it's because of your support and all your wonderful comments and all your advice. Again, I'm always open to it. Thank you so much for watching this week and I'll see you at week 15.